The fight against crime and all forms of criminality would be better enhanced if efforts are get towards enhancing community policing to complement the police and other law enforcement agencies. These were the words of Governor Akio Miambode at the swearing-in ceremony of the chairman and members of the board of the state's neighborhood corps. The main trust of any responsible and responsive government in a democracy is to ensure the safety of lives and property of its citizens. Security is better guaranteed when it is available in all nooks and crannies. I will be faithful. I will be faithful. In pursuant to the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Agency law, but enabled the establishment of a safety core, a board is inaugurated. I will not discriminate. I will not discriminate on the basis of religion, on the basis of religion, tribe, tribe, cult, status, or practice, or practice, or any form of partiality, or any form of partiality. The board is in place with the responsibility to operate and administer the agency. Its core function is to recruit suitable people as core members. Its mode of operation will essentially be in intelligence gathering, protection of lives and property, maintaining law and order, among others, are the grassroots. You agree with me that the police and indeed all other security forces within the states and even the country at large are quite stretched and some form of community or local policing is required to boost and support the great job the Nigeria police is presently doing. The creation of this agency marks another step towards ensuring the protection of lives and properties at the grassroots level. Cop members recruited by the agency are meant to interact with the people at the community level. It is expected that with the visible presence of the cop members within a particular community, the likelihood of crime will be drastically reduced. The agency replaces the neighborhood watch with the responsibility of assisting the police. And they have passed to recruit eligible persons as COP members in all the local government areas in the state. We must emphasize that the agency is not meant to compete, but to complement the efforts of the police force. The board is chaired by retired Deputy Inspector General of Police, Israel Alao. Governor Ambody urged members of the board to see their appointment as a call to duty. I want to thank His Excellency and express our deep appreciation of the confidence imposed in us. And I want to state that we shall hit the ground running. We have to go to the grassroots because that's the essence of this agency. As you may know, sir, community policing or community law enforcement stands on three legs. Participation, being representative, and then accountability. Once we take these three key factors into the communities, make them to be part of us, tell them we are representing them, and then we are invariably accountable to them for all that goes on in each of these localities. I'm sure they will realize the importance of what we have done to this and also support us to make Lagos very safe. Members of the board are drawn from various ministries in the state. The Lagos State Police Command and from the Department of State Security. While reiterating the determination of his administration to commit resources to ensure success of the objectives of the agency, Governor Ambodi said its realization would make Lagos a place where residents and all intending foreign and local investors do business in safety and comfort. <laughs> 